Decentralization is the key to freeing humanity from governments and their money printing machine. In this way, cryptocurrencies can be the new global revolution. Every cryptocurrency wants to contribute to this revolution in some way. But in this channel, we look at one of the most special ones, named XRP. Hi guys, welcome back to CryptoMarker. We are here with non-stop stories of Ripple development and partnerships. Ripple's partly-owned subsidiary, Tranglo, joined hands with one of Australia's fastest-growing fintech companies, Ethereumit. Ripple partner Tranglo announced that it has signed Ethereumit, one of Australia's fastest-growing fintech companies, as a new partner. With this partnership, Ethereumit will use Tranglo's cross-border payment solutions, including XRP based on-demand liquidity payment technology. Tranglo will partner with Ethereumit to leverage Ripple's ODL to maximize working capital and enable fast, cost-effective transactions across key country corridors, including Bangladesh, Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, and India. Ethereumit will work with the Tranglo platform to process transactions and streamline international payments. Using Tranglo's interface, Ethereumit will be able to execute transactions seamlessly and in real time. This partnership will enable Ethereumit to streamline operations and create new revenue streams by offering more options for customers to send international payments. Tranglo Group CEO Jackie Lee said, We are excited about this partnership with Ethereumit. Their dedication to improving their remittance experience is inspirational. Together, we look forward to creating unlimited possibilities with our technology. Commenting on the partnership, Ethereumit co-founder and CFO Alan Owen said, the strategic partnership between Ethereumit and Tranglo will offer a comprehensive cross-border payment solution for all customers. This partnership combines Ethereumit's extensive remittance network and Tranglo's expertise in global payment infrastructure. I want to tell you guys that it is notable that after launching the pilot program in September 2021, Tranglo had enabled ODL products for customers in March 2022. Throughout Tranglo development, Ripple has played an important role. In fact, Tranglo is currently partly owned by Ripple. As for Ethereumit, the remittance service provider is among Australia's fastest growing fintech companies. The company has been finalist in multiple awards, that is, India Fintech Awards 2021, AFR Most Innovative Companies Awards and the Fini Awards. Further, during the year, Ethereumit has planned to expand its services to 150 countries around the globe. Imagine 150 countries. Well, after talking about Ripple's partnership expansion, let's take a look at its lawsuit status. The legal battle between Ripple Labs and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission continues to await a decision after the final briefs were submitted by both parties about a month ago. The latest development in the lawsuit was the intervention of Forbes journalist Dr. Roslyn Layton, who filed a motion to intervene to ask the court for access to the Hinman speech documents. Nevertheless, Ripple's chief legal officer, Stuart Alderity, has repeatedly pointed out the SEC's misconduct in recent weeks. Two weeks ago, he wrote that SEC chairman Gary Gensler is a political liability for failing to establish proper regulation for over 40 million Americans who own cryptocurrencies. In his latest tweet, Alderity draws attention to a gross misconduct by Gary Gensler that may yet be his undoing. The Ripple CLO writes, Crypto Lawyer PSA Chair Gensler has again proclaimed that every cryptocurrency, except Bitcoin, 
is an unregistered security. He now must recuse himself for voting on any enforcement case that raises that issue since he has prejudged the outcome. And in an interesting statement, Library says it is up to Ripple to save the U.S. crypto industry. Library, an open source content distribution network, said Ripple is the best chance the United States crypto industry has against the Securities and Exchange Commission adverse enforcement policy. It noted that it believes Ripple is the only blockchain company left to save the U.S. crypto industry since other companies have chosen not to play offense against the SEC. By far, the best chance for cryptocurrency in the United States is Ripple. Other crypto players in the US could be playing a fence, but aren't. This means it's basically all on XRP to save us all, said Library. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and watch our other videos to know more about XRP and Ripple.